Okay, so I conducted an analysis using this model here and often when users like I did conduct an analysis using WAR PLS then justify the use of WAR PLS by stating that the uh, the data is uh, it, it may be non-normal and WAR PLS like most PLS based algorithms uh, is uh, useful when the data that we have is non-normal with small samples. Interestingly, it, it, most of the, these uh, claims are not uh, justified by analysis of normality. This can be done by going to the option data and then view safe correlations and descriptive statistics for indicators. So when I get the data now, uh, I can see several descriptive statistics at the bottom here for each one of the indicators in my data set. These include skewness, excess kurtosis values, as well as tests of unimodality and normality. So we have two tests of unimodality and two tests of normality. I can also see histograms for each one of these indicators. So if I click on the option view I will see the histogram. I can make this histogram uh, smaller uh, and then include this in, uh, in a report. This is for indicators. So for indicators we can see the results of these tests of normality and unimodality as univariate or bivariate tests. I can also obtain the same statistics or almost all of the same statistics for the latent variables as well by going to the option view latent variable coefficients then here at the bottom I have skewness, excess kurtosis, tests of unimodality and tests of normality. Since latent variables are uh, aggregations of indicators or indicators and measurement errors then these tests here the results of these tests can be seen as multivariate results um, or results for multivariate normality and multimodality and I can also see histograms here as well so f let's see for example this variable uh, project management it's uh, it passed two tests of normality the Yaki beta test and the robust version of this test they're described down here and in the user manual so let's take a look at the at the histograms and the histogram shows that you know it looks it looks like a normal distribution so this concludes this demo on skewness kurtosis and normality tests